I wanted to show y'all what Amanda done to my camper home. I own my property. I own my camper. I own my mobile home. I own my van. I can afford more for my children living in a camper and giving Crystal easy rent by having the mobile home. Yes, I gave home to her half of it, but anyways, yes, there's no reason that I should be accused of the things that Protective Services wants to accuse me of. My property is no different than a mobile home park, a campground, a apartment complex. Y'all ain't responsible for what your neighbors do if they ain't clean. So I'm not responsible just because they're my biological adults. I must clean up after 17, 19, and 26-year-olds for Child Protective Services to try and say that that's my mess when my home is separate from theirs. You know, all they do is have a bedroom sleep in over there for Samuel and Rachel. They come in here to go to the bathroom, and that's it, or eat, you know, which they broke their TVs, typical guess I'm responsible for vandalism for TV's broke. But anyways, I hope that uh, y'all seen the logist that Gary and, and Crystal Brown, the charges have been dropped. Uh, there's a 48 hour hold on Gary, which a um, lawyer didn't think so at first, but with the charges being as um, violent as they are, even though they're dropped, gotta wait the process for ice hold and literally there's not gonna be a problem. He should be home in two days and in two days, I'm hoping to do a live video with Gary on here with me instead. I hope I don't look too bad. I have not been asleep all night and all day. But I wanted to give the results and the other live video, I believe, before my phone died, me trying to show the damage Amanda did to my camper home. I don't think it's going to show. I'll have to do a video on the Child Protective Service thing. Orange County PD allowing somebody to vandalize my home by forcing me to let her stay here. But, anyways, I'm not afraid. I ain't done nothing wrong. I ain't done nothing to Amanda. We wish the best for her. But for our safety, we will be getting a protective order against her. She has to do this on her own, guys. She has to go to rehab. She has to go jail or prison, wherever she's going to go. You know. But, it was pretty exciting to hear from the Louisiana investigator that visited with Amanda several times that the cheerleader, intelligent, beautiful, bright young girl is back in jail right now. She's sober, she's clean, she's talking straight. So the family doesn't wish no harm towards Amanda. We're appreciative that she told the truth. We wish that we could be there for her. We can't take that risk again. She's got to do this on her own, guys. See you in prayer. Other than that, pray for Gary that everything goes good in two days and I get to have a live video with Gary Clark on Wednesday, maybe Thursday, if he don't ain't out by Wednesday. But right now, I'm being told a sheriff can keep him over two days just to make me have to hire a lawyer and file against him. I think Louisiana has put my family through enough that they need to let go of Gary next. Don't y'all agree? He put himself in harm's way. This ain't right. And my video is lagging. That's weird, so hopefully y'all can see it good. But I'm done. The other video said most of it. It'll be ready here soon. Reading the letters that Amanda Brown wrote the family. Me. Telling the truth. Lying to all types of people. But it's not Amanda Brown's fault. It's Child Protective Services. You don't visit a drug head in jail. She is coming down off of meth, and she is more of a harm coming down than when she's on meth. That's the same problem we had in De Quincey, Louisiana. These cops all knew the social media famous Amanda Brown. Drug test her. You think it's mud on her face? She's supposed to be a victim that gets seen by the emergency room and her clothes should have been evidence off her body because if she had mud on her face, don't y'all think it'd be on her body? Her clothes? So, no, we don't do this. This is normal for the system to just slam people in jail like this without investigating. So, I appreciate the fact that things got dropped. 
But I still want my video to go live because there's some things that need to be changed. That private message from that gal. You're a sick individual if you got another Facebook pop up to be able to do receive this. Alright, well, I'm gonna go eat Mongolian Grill in Orange, Texas. It's very good. If y'all haven't tried it, go to Mongolian Grill. Shalom, as I love to hear Gary say. And I do love Gary. And I'll pay for anything he needs, because he deserves it, guys. He really does. You ain't gonna meet a man like that that puts himself in harm's way, knowing he didn't have a visa. But that's not what was important. Unity, a family was important. So that should matter to keep him here. God bless y'all and watch my other live video because I had to do this one because battery died, overheated, whatever, and I had to do this. Alright, well, hope I look okay to go out to eat. <laughs> Was hoping with Gary, but we'll go in a couple of days. Shalom again. Bye. And yes, this is my camper. Mine, 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 mine. I don't care about a big house. Bible says be content with whatever state you are in. And I love my camper life. This battery charge, I'll have to show y'all Lila Playland because it's beautiful. Okay. want to say love y'all and God in Christ Jesus. Brenda Rowell, you've been a blessing, girl, and I see you. All y'all have.